Hi everyone, I hope you're well. This is Coins Kid. Just going to line text OP once again. Thank you, support. Okay, big of the Coins Key crew. So I did relay this yesterday uh, to the Coins Key crew on Twitter right there. Are you paying attention? BTC sell at 33, USD buy at 70. So it's roughly a week ago I was relaying this. Are you paying attention? Bitcoin XRP and Ethereum, BTC buy at 69, and USD sell at 31. So we've got an inverse correlation. Last week I was looking at correction. This week I'm looking at a nice little pump uh, for Bitcoin and XRP as well off them lows right there. So I did relay this. To you this is a little metric that i've created for the coins key crew uh, basically it's an inverse correlation metric i do need to get a notification out on it because yesterday this did peak below 30 and that tweaked above 70 obviously uh, and i need a notification for it instead of just sitting on a site on coinskid.com and refreshing it refreshing it refreshing it, i need some kind of notification system so if anyone can point me in the direction of a good email server or something like that where i can set it up uh, so we can get notifications through email or even you know whatsapp message or something like that or just some kind of notification on the phone will be absolutely amazing uh, because yesterday I did jump into a long as soon as I seen this signal and I think it's an important metric that we need to pay attention to so I'm going to show you why I've entertained a long right now uh, across the board okay and I'm buying some positions let's dive into the XRP chart right now so quickly before we do dive into the XRP chart with yourselves today we have found a little bit of support right there and we may be reshaping out of there but obviously I need to you know we need to see a little bit more structure from XRP before we can get excited it has currently held that September low which is really important like I said to you that's the invalidation of a five wave move up right there but what we're doing in this particular chart is an inverse correlation which is why I was showing the opportunity uh, literally I come back from traveling and someone introduced me to this particular chart and I said to you there's an opportunity here guys because we, every time we run into this resistance we see XRP and altcoins you know come up the stairs and every time we run into this support this is where we experience a correction that's exactly what's happened just there. if you take a look Saturday Sunday over the weekend this is starting to come back up what's happened to XRP it's come back down so from this point here this is where XRP has come up and this has come back down you know it's an inverse correlation it's playing out like a boss and this is one of the reasons why i do remain cautiously bullish on xrp for this last impulse because what i think we've got in it's really simple we've come down in this huge huge push and right now we've got this overlapping corrective wave which is basically a bear flag and what we're doing from this peak here we're coming down making a series of lower highs and lower lows so we're looking for this chart to continue this bearish downtrend structure after this uptrend corrective structure really really simple okay so i'm looking at if i'm correct then what we're looking at we need to see a lower high here and another lower low and one of the most important things and we'll keep an eye on this chart every single day because at the moment i am actually micro time frame trading this chart as well which is why i've jumped into a long so i'll show you what i'm doing but what we're looking at if, if we create a low high here and we drop and we lose this center trend line wow buy as much xlp as you can you know sell the house sell the kids sell the clothes whatever because we're getting a clue we've got a vertical in risk because that's what we've got there and that's what we've got there and we're breaking down on a massive macro flag so this is a bearish retrace and this right now is a new downtrend which is beginning you've got some kind of one into an abc2 into a three four five so on and so forth and we're coming down the stairs right now but one of the most biggest clues we can see here to get incredibly bullish is losing that ascending trend line and losing that pivot low and then one of the most you know really really bearish things we can see here are exit strategy is really simple like a relay to you on the xlp chart if we break that resistance just there which is your september high then yeah get out of crypto because at that point you would expect that this is coming up continuing and then you know you look at resistance points above to, to get back involved in xlp really really simple so it's on a knife edge but what we're doing right now is actually quite nice i'm going to show you why because if we switch to the four hourly time frame this is exactly why I've jumped into longs. And a lot of people say, oh, you're DJing and things like that. But what I'm looking at is basically this is a bearish retrace. And you're creating a rising wedge with bearish divergence. Uh, and right now we're rolling over. So the technical target is this low here where you form the wedge. So this is where I'll be looking to lock in some profits on my longs that I've jumped into yesterday. Around about 5.64. And just be patient, look for a lower high and then a drop. Because what we've got in this particular chart just like the xrp chart which we've traded to the downside we've got god candle back test resistance there resistance there so that may be a clue that all this is is a simple bearish retrace xrp's found its low bitcoin's found its low ethereum's found its low all these old coins are just retraced creating their lower bot their high low bottom structure uh, from this basically this low here and then boom you know they're looking to continue basically where this chart's looking to continue to the downside so this chart is the absolute key to the future of xrp really really simple so from this high here this is where we've been looking at xrp as a bottoming structure looking at bitcoin looking at so many old coins and we've been buying opportunities and as anticipated i said to you when we get to this trend line expect a correction this is a confluence to a correction but if this comes up makes a lower high 
then boom this rolls over wow we've got a clue here guys this is amazing this is what we want to see so what else has this particular chart done so from this low here to the high where it's retracing right now it's actually ran into the zero five fib which is synonymous with dead cat bounces so basically what we've done bitcoin's come up like that and it's retraced and it's found a 200 day ema as this is running to the zero five fib so this might be a dead cap bounce before continuation if that is the case then xrp's come up off a five wave move one two three four five this has come down xrp's we trace that move as this has come up into the dead cap bounce this is looking to roll xrp's looking to break out really really simple inverse correlation so this is why we have to pay attention to the tether dominance chart it's an amazing chart and at the minute this is why i've jumped into longs yesterday i've currently woke up this morning and i'm in you know a nice bit of profit across the board so i'm looking to lock in a bit of profit at 5.64 percent because what i look for here is basically a lower high double top drop and then this starts to come back down to these god candles and this you know the god candles within themselves may be a clue that this is really 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 bearish if this is a push down a retracement and this drops wow we've got the vertical here you know right on cue with where i'm expecting it and we've nailed this market let's dive into the xrp chart right now to see the setup going forward okay so quickly before i do dive into the xrp chart i would really like it if you would join this competition with me okay you've not even got to be a trader you've not even got to deposit anything just to be in the competition and the list to win one of these amazing prizes a rolex watch a luxury yacht or world travel ticket so just come along join get your name in the list but if you are a trader join my crew get involved and let's smash this competition okay on bybit the link is in the video description below i think you get a bonus if you join up as well if you are looking to trade uh you know going forward so i'll jump into the xrp chart right now to show you what i'm looking at okay but please do get involved the links below the video description so looking at xrp on the daily time frame at the moment we've got the tether uh, right there that's running into a potential dead cap bounce scenario so keep an eye on that it's come down retracing zero five fib and right now it's creating a bearish pattern that's coming down and then equally on the tether dominance we do have god candles below us so it's no different to this coming up oh no it's taking off the space god candle back test it's taking off the space got candle back test taken off the space got candle back test you know and that's exactly what we're looking at on the tether dominance right there so the invalidation in short term obviously if a tether dominance comes up and takes out that zero five fib then we're looking at high level resistance and possibly you know looking at a lower level support here uh, for xrp really really simple so an inverse correlation at the moment is why i've jumped into a long opportunity right now so if we take a look at the four hour we are currently still holding this low after a one two three four five setup retracing moves getting squeaky bum time almost lost it but right now we're on the cusp of some kind of reversal here whilst you know the tether dominance is looking toppy in a potential bearish retrace to the uh, dead cap bounce zone really you know really simple and it's in a in a uh, in a rising wedge on the four hourly time frame so on the four hour if you take a look we've got really really oversold down here so if we take a look at this key pivot point just there for xrp and this is a key pivot point just there equally on the upside that's a key pivot point there and a key pivot point there so if you take a look at that key pivot point there just there you was actually creating a bearish divergence on the four hour just there because you basically got lower highs in the rsi higher highs in the index bearish divergence boom pulling down so if we take a look at this support and always use your candle bodies from there to there it's literally level playing field isn't it and then what we've got here is basically a lower low in the rsi but this is a bit of a higher low do you see that so that's actually a bullish divergence so what xrp's done here is come up created this bearish divergence rolled over and right now it's creating a bullish divergence so this may be a little bit of a accompanied confluence to the fact that we should see some kind of reversal here for xrp to come back up okay whilst we see the tether dominance hit that dead cap bounce roll over in the you know the rising wedge and start to head back down the stairs so this might be the absolute sweet spot which i relay into you for the next big move up so keep an eye on this the invalidation is where you've come from in one two three four fives like i said to you that's the invalidation of the impulse so i'm looking at for xrp this is a beautiful little buy zone right now if it does start to reverse it starts to come back up in a reversal pattern where should we find our next level of resistance so if we zoom in really really simple uh, right now if you do want to go long on xrp just put your stop loss on this pivot low to negate this trade really simple trade okay so let's find a long opportunity for you so from this point right here go long into this god candle back test around about 10.64 percent and the negation of a trade is 3.77 percent so very minimal stop loss for a beautiful little trade for xrp to come up into this leg here where we may see you know the tether dominance start to reverse at some point and start to come back and make a lower high so over the next few weeks what we're looking at is basically this has been a retracement to this low and what we need to see for xrp is something like this we've got to be patient comes up like this hits that resistance comes back like this and then we get the explosive breakout and then we move to the left it's basically high low structure the shake out the fake out the bear trap and then boom we create this beautiful ascending triangle at this point and then we are breaking out from left to right high lows high lows breakout see you later 
whopping ascending triangle right there compression lead to expansion that's what we want to see obviously in the validation in the short term keep an eye on the tether dominance going forward if a tether dominance comes up and really does start to take off this is coming down the stairs here this is why this is a very minimal trade piece so today 3.77 percent loss for a potential gain of 10.64 percent on bybit don't be a dj don't don't go in your life savings obviously because these things happen get stopped out but what i'm looking at is basically the validation of a free uh, five wave impulse a correction coming back shaking everyone out and we're looking for reversal here at this point this is a god candle back test around about 057825 could be a good area to lock in some profit on these longs okay hope you understand the update stay up stay tuned take care everyone back to another update and xrp bye bye